have authority after God. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa sallallahu ala muhammadin wa alihi al-tahirin. Welcome all of you to an historic event in which we inaugurate the building of an Islamic center in the 5th Ward of Houston, Texas. I thank you all for coming and being here with us, being here to witness this groundbreaking ceremony which will inshallah forever be in the hearts of this local community. The effort into Masha Rasul has been 30 years in the making. And inshallah, this is an extension and inshallah it will be able to achieve even more, Allah willing. Uh, I'd like to now invite uh, a phenomenal Shaykh who has blessed us on these 10 nights of Muharram with his Majalis. I would like to invite Maulana Shaykh Ahmed Hanif to speak to the community. Salawat. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Bari al-Halaika ajma'in wa salat wa salam ala rasulihi wa habibihi wa safirihi abil qasim muhammad. Allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ala muhammad. Allah says in the Holy Quran, Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Sorry for my... Allah says in the Holy Quran, Bismillahi Rahman Rahim. كنتم خير أمة أخرجت للناس تأمرون بالمعروف وتنحون عن المنكر وتؤمنون بالله. You are the best nation brought forth for mankind. You bid what is right and forbid what is wrong, and have faith in Allah. It is very interesting and very logical even that you would have a masjid like this today being established in a neighborhood where we are dealing with here the forgotten, the marginalized. Because this is exactly where Islam spreads. And this has been so from the time of Prophet Noah up to this time. That the people who follow the prophets were never the rich, were never the powerful. The people who follow the prophets we're always the people who are the deprived. We're always the people who are the bottom of the barrel. And it is in following these prophets that the religion lifted them up and made them powerhouses and made them uh, people who can influence the rest of society. When it is not a mistake that a masjid like this will be established in a place like this in our black neighborhood, as we see in the history of the spread of Islam in North America and in South America, we find that among the African Americans, whether it be a North American African or a South American African, that they have a special gravitation towards Islam. Islam came and brought in Salman al-Farsi and Bilal al-Habashi. Okay, what relationship do they have with us right now? Salman al-Farsi was noted to be a member of the Ahlul Bayt, a member of the family of the Prophet. He was not a biological member of the family of the Prophet, but he was, in a certain sense, adopted as a member of the Ahlul Bayt. Bilal Habashi, he is known to be what? The Muazzin, the one who calls the prayer. The one who calls to the submission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Bilal Habashi is a prefiguring of the rapidity of the African, wherever he might be, in Africa, in, in the United States of America, in South America, in the Caribbean, wherever he might be, he's the one who is the first one 
to follow and to submit and to agree and say, La Beit wa Allah, I'm coming to you and I'm answering your call. To the extent that we realize that among the African American and the African in general is a certain tendency he has, a certain kind of a capability he has, a certain power he has to draw people to anything he likes, to anything he loves. And unfortunately, this is something that the devil himself has realized and has been using Africans, especially African Americans, to draw people to cough, to draw people to, to sin, to draw people to foolishness. And that's why they are afraid of Islam. Because when the African American embraces Islam, he's going to bring everybody into Islam because he reflects the passion and the call of Bilal al Habashi. Give salawat to the Holy Prophet Muhammad in Islam. So it is highly strategic. It is very strategic for us to start establishing masajid and Islamic centers in places like this. And now, what do Bilal and Salman have to do today? What is our goal today? Both Bilal and Salman, and by Salman I mean everybody from Asia, from India, from, from, from Pakistan, and also, yes, from Europe, which is a part of Asia, Euro-Asia. Okay? But Salman, Salman al Farsi represents all of y'all. Because the Holy Prophet وسلم, said, said what? He said, I was sent to the red and the black. The two races, the two peoples. We know where the black is already. Where's the red? He's up there in Eurasia, man. From China all the way to England. How do Salman al Farsi and Bilal come together in a place like this? But when you look around, you find there's a lot of people who need help here. There's a lot of people who here, for, them, for example, their children would need uh, help in school. The people here would need investment. The people here would need to, for example, get into partnerships with our Asian brothers in establishing stores, in establishing institutions, in establishing businesses and so forth, where we could empower our brothers. And isn't that what we did? Is that what the Muslims did when they moved to Medina? Okay, the people from Mecca, they didn't have much. They were Muhajirun, they were refugees. Okay, what they did was they stretched their hands out to each other and the Medinans helped the Meccans and the Meccans helped the Medinans. So this is an opportunity for a collective investment in establishing an Islamic base in this society, an Islamic alternative to poverty, to deprivation and to coming out from the area of being forget, uh, forgotten in the society. And indeed, it is only Islam, it is only Islam that can bring African people out of poverty and out of being forgotten. It is only Islam. So there is some, some Thing in the heart of the African here, the African American, wherever he is, whether he be in Africa or here or in the South, that is resonant with Islam. And for this resonance to move from the area of potential to actual, it requires us, it, re it requires a cooperation between the descendants of Bilal, the spiritual descendants of Bilal and the spiritual descendants of Salman al-Farsi to establish Islam in this realm of today we call the USA. So inshallah we hope that this groundbreaking, this masjid that will be erected here becomes an opportunity for us to be able to put the Islam into the heart of the realm of the 21st century. And inshallah, may Allah reward us for our efforts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen.